Hello and welcome to vlog number 123. This week I'm going to talk about eye problems in Parkinson's disease. People with PD frequently have issues with their eyes and eyesight and it can be a challenge to determine whether a particular problem is due to Parkinson's, due to some other unrelated condition or simply as a result of advancing age. Parkinson's is a movement disorder and can affect the movement and control of the eyes resulting in slow or jerky eye movements. It can also be responsible for blurred vision, double vision, difficulty in seeing colours, difficulty in depth perception or spatial awareness, involuntary closure of the eyelids, blepharospasm, dry eyes and visual hallucinations to name but a few. It's difficult to be certain that a particular symptom is as a result of PD when it could just as easily be caused by another condition or by the onward march of time. What I do know is that the symptoms of PD can be adversely affected by stress and that some of my eye problems have manifested themselves at a time of great stress in my life which was when I was going through a divorce. I went from having perfect vision to requiring glasses for both reading and long distances within three or four months and experienced double vision and problems with depth perception. Other symptoms such as tremor, seborrheic dermatitis and anxiety also escalated at this time so I'm fairly sure that the eye issues were also PD related. One of the problems that I'd heard about is blepharospasm or involuntary closure of the eyelids and this is something that I particularly fear especially since it can be a consequence of the deep brain stimulation operation that I've had. I know of one DBS patient who became functionally blind for 60 to 70% of the time due to this. Thankfully it is something that I've managed to avoid so far but I've noticed over the last year or so that I'm closing my eyes hard more often and finding it more of an effort to open them again. Perhaps this is a problem caused by stimulation from my DBS or maybe it is disease progression. I'm hoping that it can be resolved when I go back to the hospital for a thorough shakedown of my stimulation settings in the next few weeks. Colour perception is another eye symptom that I've personally experienced on the other occasion. Parkinson's can cause the loss of dopaminergic cells in the retina which process and perceive colour. In my case this was a flickering between seeing things in colour and then seeing things without colour as if someone had turned down the colour on the television, making everything appear to be a shade of sepia. Some people have problems seeing in low light and may find it difficult to make out the shape of objects due to contrast sensitivity problems. Some people with Parkinson's may have problems with spatial awareness and experience difficulties in judging distances. This can mean that they have problems when walking past objects or trying to get through a narrow or restrictive space. People with Parkinson's tend to blink less than other people which can lead to the eyes becoming dry and sore. I also experience a burning irritation of my eyes which causes excessive watering. This is likely because of a reduction in blink rate and or irritation due to dry eyes although I also notice that my eyes sting and absolutely stream with tears if I happen to transfer oil or sebum from my face to my eyes by inadvertently rubbing my eyes. Luckily this is quickly alleviated by washing with warm water. A reduction in the movement of the eyes can cause double vision. Poor coordination and fatigue of the muscles that move the eyeballs means that the eyes don't align properly resulting in double vision. Some of the eye problems experienced by people with Parkinson's may be due to medication rather than the condition itself. Hallucinations can be due to disease progression but equally can be caused by the very medications used to treat it. Blepharospasm may be caused by levodopa but in other instances levodopa may be found to help improve it. Some Parkinson's medications, particularly anticholinergics, can cause blurred vision and focusing difficulties. So eye problems can be due to PD but may be due to a totally unrelated condition or could be down to advancing age or perhaps it's caused by medication. It's a bit of a minefield really so in the first instance the advice has to be to consult your doctor. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs 
Just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.